nell'intervista che ha rilasciato Cartacea, eh, lei ha, mi ha detto che eh, sta scrivendo un memoir eh, sulla sua eh, esperienza con la letteratura per ragazzi. E la domanda è, la letteratura per ragazzi è vera letteratura oppure è un genere? Sono molto incuriosito da questa sua domanda che lei pone in maniera fondamentale. Sì, sì. Um, uh, as you see, I'm very old. <laughs> I'm 75 this year. And I started working with young people and with literature for them uh, in 1957. Uh, so I've been working at it a long time, and I've taught it, I've written it, I've edited it, I've published it, <laughs> I've reviewed it. <laughs> so I've done all the different things you do with it. Um, and I, I felt I wanted to do a book which somehow brought all that experience together, and which asked the question that you're asking, um, is this a separate, is this a literature of its own? Uh, or is it just a genre? Or is it nothing except <laughs> stories about young people? Um, so in a sense, I'm finding out. I'm asking that question. And I'm asking it in two ways. One, I suppose, people would call an academic way. That is the whole theory of literature. Uh, and in another way, it's a memoir because I'm saying, this is what happened to me, this is what I did, this is what I found. And putting those two things together, which is not a normal way of writing that kind of book. But there is a great masterpiece that is done like that by the Russian writer, Viktor Shklovsky. Viktor Shklovsky is a very, very important uh, critical person, a Russian, of course. Before, in the early Before 1900s, the yes, he invents formalism and it, uh, went through the whole of the revolution as a committed communist. Then fell out of belief of that <laughs> and so had to get out of Russia. He wrote novels, he wrote poems, um, very unusual books. And then when he was old, exactly my age actually, he wrote, he started writing a book which took him 10 years to write. He, published it when he was 83, I think, and he died when he was 88. Um, and it's called Energy of Delusion, a book on plot. <laughs> and it is a, it's a strange combination. It's, it's not like an academic book at all. He speaks to you very personally. It's almost like a letter to you. It's brilliant, wonderful book. So that's the model, just to talk as if in a conversation with people who are interested in the subject and not to be jargonistic about it, not to use very technical words, but simply to think about that kind of writing and whether it exists within itself. I think it does, <laughs> but I think by the time I get to the end of the book it's going to be a manifesto <laughs> of what the literature could be <laughs> rather than a statement about what it already is. I think it's an emerging literature. And of course it's being very affected now by um, the, the electronic changes, which are going to affect it. So even as I'm writing the book, <laughs> the thing is already changing, rapidly. Well, if it takes me 10 years, I shall be 85 by the time I've finished. <laughs> I hope it won't take that long. But I'm enjoying doing it because uh, I, love, I love autobiographical writing. I love diaries. I love letters. I read a lot of those by different people. Uh, and I love criticism when it's done in the old, intelligent, humanistic way. And putting the two together I find fascinating. Uh, so, yes, that's what I'm doing. <laughs>